Hello, sweet friends. Welcome to this relaxing yin class. In this class, we'll be holding postures for a little bit longer to really sink into them, to allow our nervous system to calm down and really open up through all the different areas of our body. It's gonna be a relaxing, stress-releasing, tension-releasing class. So two things before we get started is, is one, you might wanna consider um, scoring your environment. So maybe that means putting on really calming music. There's some in the description for you. Maybe that means lighting some incense like I have here or a candle or tidying up your space a little bit so that you can prime yourself to, to drop in and really be present here. So that's number one. And number two is that you don't need any props for this class, but it is nice to have a pillow or a bolster, have something uh, nice and comfy for some of the postures that we will be doing, but it is just an option. You do not need them. So if you practice this class and you enjoy it, please give it a loving thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more and uh, leave a comment. I always love to hear how your experience is. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And before we uh, melt into some postures, we'll find a little bit of gentle movement. We're going to get started at the back of our mat in child's pose. So wide knees, toes, kissing here. And you don't need to force anything. This is going to be a really easeful class. And just lean forward. Palm your hands forward into child's pose. Stretch your neck long, reach it towards the front of your mat. And at the same time, sink your hips onto your heels, elongating through each vertebrae. And even here, even though we are bent and compacted, let's close our eyes and tap into our breath. So big inhale through the nose. And the exhale through the mouth. Make this one a little bit deeper. Inhale. Exhale. Maybe you sink a little deeper into your child's pose. Make this the most intentional, biggest breath of your day so far. Inhale slowly. Fill up 360 degrees and exhale slowly. Beautiful. Crawl both hands over to the right side. Place your left hand on top of your right hand and pull your left hip back towards the mat. Feel that stretch through the side body. Nice and easy, gentle face. Right forearm meets the mat. Inhale your left arm up like the wing of a bird. Doesn't matter how it looks, matter how it feels. And the exhale, close it down. Three more, just like that. Inhale up. Exhale, close. Inhale up. Exhale, close. Inhale up. Exhale, close. One more. Inhale up. Exhale, close. Palm to center for just a moment. Stretch here. And then exhale all over to the left. So your right hand on top of your left hand this time. Sink your right hip down onto your heel. Place the left forearm on the mat and inhale, open your right arm up to the ceiling. Spiral your chest open and exhale, close it down. Three more, inhale up, exhale, close. Inhale up, exhale, close. Inhale up. Exhale, close, and palm your hands into the center. One last little stretch of the spine, long, feels good. 
And then inhale to a tabletop, hands under shoulders, fingers wide, pointer fingers <laughs> forward, and knees under hip bones. Nice little tabletop here. Press into the hands, inhale, look up, tummy drops, tail rises, shine your chest between the gateway of your arms. Exhale, chin to chest, round through each vertebrae, press the mat away. Nice and slow. Inhale, look up. Hip bones rise. They reach towards the sky. Exhale, round. Inhale, rise. Feel your hip bones spreading open. Exhale, round. One more. Inhale. Exhale. And then sit back down on your knees. You can take an easy seat here, or you can sit on your knees, or you can take toes pose, which is where you tuck your toes underneath and you get a nice stretch through the bottom of your feet. And I always like to move my pinky toes out. I will face you for this. So we'll drop our chin to our chest. We're gonna take some gentle neck rolls here. Give our neck some love. It always is holding up our head. So exhale, left ear to left shoulder. Stay for the inhale. And then exhale down through center. Inhale, right ear by right shoulder. Exhale through center. Left ear by left shoulder. So just taking a nice half circle, not crunching too much here, or not crunching at all here, just moving really gently. Any place where you feel like there's a little bit of friction, maybe spend a little bit more time here. But maybe after a few half rotations, your rotations can get a little bit bigger, a little bit wider. <laughs> and maybe you take a full rotation. But the next time your left ear meets your left shoulder, stay there. To deepen, option two, crawl your right hand out to the side. Or float your hand and flex your palm. Then point your hand. Flex. Point. Flex. Point, lower. And if you're in toes pose and you need to take a break, you can always come just onto your knees or switch it out. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder. We'll take some movements on the other side now. Walk your left hand out. Maybe you inhale it up and flex your palm. And point, flex, and point. As we keep flexing and pointing, there's a nerve that's connected to our hand all the way up to our spine. And so when we do this, we're doing this nerve flossing. It's really good and healthy to clean out some of the stuff that gets stuck around the tension around this nerve. So we'll exhale our left hand down. I'll face the front of the mat. If you were in toes pose, just pat out your toes a little bit. Bring some sensation back to them. And then from a seated position, exhale all your air out. Bring your elbows into your navel, your forearms together, hands in fists, curl forward. Exhale all of the air out. Turn into a little, little bean. Exhale it all out. And then inhale, rise, open through the chest, arms wide, elbows wide, bloom like a flower. Exhale, bring it in, elbows to navel, chin to chest, exhale it all out. Inhale, bloom like a flower, chest rises, arms wide. Exhale, 
all the air out, elbows to navel, chin to chest, every last little piece of air. And then inhale, nice and big, expand. Come to neutral. Sit down on your booty and we'll extend left leg long. Right leg by your inner thigh and our chest and our hips are facing our left leg and you can have this left leg bent and your feet bent as well, dorsiflexed. But we'll inhale to a long spine and then exhale, fold forward. Release your neck here. Let your head be heavy. Option to grab your bolster or your pillow and place it on the ground or place it up against your leg and rest your chest or your head against your cushion. Focus on the sensations in the back of your legs and your foot. Instead of pushing and crunching, can we, can we accept, can we surrender? Can we allow our body to open up for us? So normally in this posture, I would cue to shine your chest forward, long spine, bring your navel to the ground, not your nose. But since this is a yin class, we want to relax the leg. Take the dorsiflexion out of your foot and almost let your top of your body hang over. Let your weight bring you deeper in a gentle way. With each exhale, allow your body to get heavy. Allow yourself to sink a little bit deeper. Release the tension in your body. Just let it go. Let it go. Slowly start to walk your hands back to your body. Come up to a seated position. Switch out the legs so the right leg is out long. Left leg is bent. Foot is at your inner thigh. Inhale, arms up long. Straight spine and then exhale forward fold. So at first, Maybe you shine your chest forward and you flex your foot to feel the stretch, feel the action. Maybe stay here for a few breaths. And then when you're ready, relax the foot, relax the leg, relax the neck. And fold it in. Let your arms be heavy, your head be heavy, your chest be heavy. Relax the brow, the space behind the eyes. Relax the jaw. Allow for teeth gap. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe.
slowly walk your hands back towards your body. Come up to a seated position. If you used your pillow or bolster, please move it off the mat. Bring the bottom of the feet together in front of you for butterfly pose. So it doesn't really matter how far your, your feet are from your body. Just be able to get your both sit bones on the floor. I like to grab my ankles, inhale to a long spine, and then exhale, lean forward, and I use my elbows to press into my knees. Maybe if we find some space here just in the beginning. Maybe we take some intentional pulses. And on your next exhale, release the neck. Release any tension or action or movement that you are creating. And just allow yourself to sink in. With each exhale, release tension in your hips. Release any tension in your shoulders. Let gravity make you heavy. No pulling, no crunching, no forcing. Just allow your body to open up naturally in this way. Slowly, slowly, sweetly start to rise, come out of butterfly. Start to cross your legs and we will roll over our legs. And we'll set up for frog pose. So we're on our hands and knees and turn towards the long edge of the mat. And we do this so that our legs can be on the comfy mat. Otherwise our, our knees would likely be off. So. Start to spread your legs out wide. Your <laughs> heels are flexed and your heels are outside of your knees. That's going to protect your knees. I like to grab my pillow for this one. And then lean your chest towards the ground. And try to keep your, your hips in line with your knees here. So there will also be a little bit of action of pressing yourself back. But find your alignment. Bring your comfy cushion in if you have one. And then sink in. Big inner thigh stretch. This is definitely one where you want to bring in your breathing. So maybe you take fuller breaths here, deeper inhales, big full exhales. And if ever during this class you get swept away by thoughts, feelings, to do's, what have you, a great trick to come back to the present is to simply breathe deeper. So try it now. Inhale big. 
Long, slow exhale. Deeper inhale now. Longer exhale. Deeper inhale. Longer exhale. Melt in. Allow yourself. few more breaths here. Maybe you shimmy your knees out a little bit more. Find a little bit of a deeper frog. And when you're ready, slowly lift your chest. Walk your knees in. Hmm. Place your pillow at the top of your mat. And we will line ourselves up with the short edge of our mat like normal. Let's come on to our stomachs. We're going to set up for cobra pose. So on our, our tummies, but our elbows underneath our shoulders, 90 degrees here, hands wide, pointer fingers forward, fingers wide open. Inhale, puff the chest forward, rise your sternum up towards the ceiling, and bring your shoulders down your back. So oftentimes the shoulders will shrug up in cobra pose. When that happens, inhale, puff the chest up, sternum rises, shoulders come down away from the ears. Long neck here. Keep the tin, the chin tucked just a bit for integrity. Breathe. This is more of an active pose because we are lifting long. Create more space between the shoulders and the ears. See if you can shine your chest forward just a little bit more. Spike into your pelvis just a bit to give yourself a little more lift. Relax the eyes. Relax the jaw. Nice. Gently release your cobra. Come on to your right side. It's almost like we're laying on our side. If you have your pillow or cushion, bring it in here. From here, we're on our side. Our knees are bent. Tur turn your chest towards the mat, and your right arm comes out like a goal post. Place it on the ground. Turn your head to your left and sink in. It's going to be a nice shoulder opener here. Also, it kind of feels like taking a nap. <laughs> big inhales, big exhales. If you want to deepen this a little bit more, take your left hand, wrap it back behind you for almost like a half bind.
big inhales. Big exhales, aerating our body, aerating our blood. With your left hand, press yourself into the mat. Come up. Bring your right arm around. We'll swivel onto the other side. So laying on your left side now. Bend at the knees. From here, turn your chest towards the mat. Left arm opens like a cactus or a field goal post. And then lay down in your head looks to the right. Allow your hips to relax. Allow your shoulders to relax. Allow yourself to be supported here. If thoughts come, feelings come, breathe deeper, inhale, Bigger, wider, and exhale longer and release. You don't need to force anything here. Just allow your body to open up naturally. A few more breaths. Plant the right hand. Lift your upper body up. Left hand comes up, and we'll come on to a tabletop position and move our pillow out of the way. We're going to guide ourselves into puppy pose. So from our tabletop, 90 degree angle with the knees. And walk your hands slowly, slowly forward. Till your chest comes nearer to the mat, an option to release your head onto the mat, or you can also use your bolster or pillow here. This is a pretty deep shoulder opening stretch, so if your hands are, are parallel straight forward, if that's too much, you can always take a wider stance with the hand, bring them towards the edge of the mat, and that is a little bit more accessible. If you want even deeper, you can bend at the elbows, prayer hands by your neck. And take deep breaths. Allow with each exhale to sink in a little bit further. Maybe your chest gets a little bit closer to the ground. If you need to come out 
and then come back in. That is always an option for you. Breathe. Slowly start to walk your hands back. We'll take a, uh, a child's pose with knees together and bring your arms back behind you this time. Give your shoulders a little rest. Just let your forehead relax on the mat. Safe little child's pose. Feel good. And then slowly come up. We'll move to the middle of our mat and come down onto our backs. Keep the knees bent, bottom of the feet on the mat. And we'll bring our right foot <clears throat> onto our left thigh. Inhale all up. And you can... Your right hand can go through the, f the figure four hole and bring all your knees, all of them, <laughs> into your chest. Should be a nice hamstring glute stretch. And here, relax your shoulders onto the mat. Relax your chest. Feel the full of your back being supported by the mat. Bring your attention to your brow and relax the muscles across your forehead. Relax your muscles around your eyes. Relax your cheeks, your lips, your jaw, your throat. Be heavy here. Exhale, your left foot meets the mat. Your right foot plants and then switch it out. Bring your left ankle on top of your right thigh and inhale all of your knees <laughs> into your chest. The sides may be different here, so there's no good or bad in that, but just an awareness of it. Ah, maybe this side has more mobility, more flexibility. Mm, maybe this one's a little tighter. Okay, that's all good. We're gonna stretch it out anyway. Bring that same relaxation, that same ease to your shoulders. Let them release onto the mat. Relax the face, the brow, the eyes, jaw, neck, chest, hips, feet. And release your figure four back to the mat. Option to take Shavasana with straight legs or bring the bottom of the feet together in Supta Baddha Kanasana. So you're making a diamond with your legs. You can have your arms out wide, take up space or bring your right hand to your navel, your left hand to your heart. Let them 
be heavy on your body and move with your breath. Maybe you meet the close of this class with the welcoming expression of a smile. And take that, take that energy as you move through the rest of your day today. I hope you feel amazing. I hope you feel calm. And I hope you feel kind. Namaste, friends.